This is Chris Teddy from The World is a Beautiful Place, and I'm no longer afraid to die. Thanks to Premier Guitar for having me be part of their Hook series. Uh, the song I'm going to mention today is Clear the Lane by Rage Against the Machine. Um, they were really sort of my first favorite band um, that I kind of became obsessed with. Um, I found out about them in about 7th or 8th grade. Um, I had a teacher who kind of saw that I was getting into... Um, more like rock music and kind of interested in playing guitar and uh, he started letting me borrow CDs of bands that he grew up with so you know obviously there was like Rage and then Soundgarden, um, Tumble of the Dog, Smashing Pumpkins, uh, the list kind of goes on and Rage really stuck out to me um, because of Tom Morello's approach to guitar playing and making the guitar not really sound like a guitar. I'd never really heard anything with crazy pitch shifting and like scratching effects and just these, these odd odd elements that you wouldn't really expect from guitar music um, just coming into it um, and he, he had a lot of simple lines um, in their music which really um, is something that I've taken uh, even to this day um, just trying to layer simple things together uh, to make a bigger sound in the end. Um, and the guitar part in Clear the Lane is actually just really like a single note. Uh, so, I mean, he's using like a whammy with the two octaves up. Um, but even though it's just like a single note on the actual instrument, the way he uses the whammy is really effective to fill it out like uh, melodically um so i mean it, it's so it's so <laughs> so easy but so when i first heard that i i just couldn't understand like what was making that sound yeah, with the octaves and the pitch shifters, um, that's something that I, I still use now. Um, for example, um, my band has a record coming out on October 8th on Epitaph Records called Illusory Walls. And in the first single for that record, um, Invading the World, I, I have a lot of like simple lines that kind of stack with one another. So I, I use... Um, a Boss PS5 a lot and the Electro Harmonics Pitchfork. I do have a Whammy, but I don't use it too much these days. But I do, I do love it. Um, it was one of the pedals that I really wanted to get as a kid because I, I was like, "Oh, Tom makes these sounds with the Whammy. How can I do that? Oh, this is like a somewhat expensive pedal, but this is like a dream thing to get." Um, but yeah, so in our song. Um, there's, there's pitch shifters all over it. Um, I guess I'll play something on a different guitar. So, for example, in our song, Invading the World, I have a capo on a guitar that's an E standard, but the capo is basically an octave up from a baritone. So, I was trying to figure out ways to fill out the sound, and... So, a riff that we have in the chorus parts is, which, it sounds fine, but kind of thin, so I threw an octaver into it. Um, And, I mean, it's a, it's a simple line, but the pitch shifter really helps fill it out um, harmonically. Um, I mean, even, for example, uh, on our new record, there's tons of spots where I even use a glitchy um, boss digital delay. Um, it's sort of to mimic um, things I kind of grew up with, which would have been like Tom's glitchy guitar playing. That later led to me getting into bands like Battles and um, Terra Melos, where they also, the goal is where the guitar doesn't sound like a guitar. It's just, 
it's just a means to play the um, the music, but the way it translates through the all the effects, it, it sounds nothing like a guitar. So. <laughs> I kind of, I guess I kind of use a boss super shifter in a way that like Tom would have used like a whammy because I do like the climb up, which all kind of goes back to clear the lane, I guess. Um, and his climb up and down with the whammy. Granted, I just use one octave up, but yeah, it, it is kind of funny like thinking about, you know, how these things might like influence you years later. You might not consciously think about it, but when I kind of had to think of a song for this video, Rage was a band that immediately came to mind. Um, and it's just this, this single, that single line and Clear the Lane has always just been kind of stuck in my head. Um, and been in the back of my mind, I guess, you know, and then it kind of, it kind of turns into like, you know, oh, I love this sound of the climb on these pitch shifters. Um, or I like the unnatural effect that it gives to your high note. Um, cause there, I mean, there's tons of different parts in world is songs where I'll play a lead, but I'll blend in like maybe a whammy or I'll, I'll have the, the super shifter, like I'll let it do the climb. It'll be done. And then... The way it reacts is like just kind of odd um, in a cool way um, rather than just playing something up an octave on the actual guitar um, yeah I mean even I'll sometimes use like a tremolo pedal to kind of get starter effects that you know Tom might have had um, not always trying to emulate him exactly but it is something that when I've got into guitar it it was like, oh, I want to do things like that. I don't care about playing four chords, like open chords, and that's kind of like the song. And that, that stuff has like merit, um, but I would find myself just getting bored, just playing like these, just like the same few open chords. Um, it's not really something that I ever had interest in myself and my own playing. Um, it was more, what can I do to make this guitar sound unique because obviously like all these chords have been played before but how can you mix it up in a way to make something new um so i mean even with like tremolo I mean, even though I have a capo, I can cover a ton of ground. I mean, there's there's definitely a song on our new record um, that has a pitch shifted down by an octave or two part with a glitchy kind of tremolo. But um, yeah, yeah, it's just this. The, yeah, doing this video definitely made me kind of rethink what got me into guitar, and it's definitely to not make it sound quite like one but yeah I, I would definitely check out the song clear the lane i mean obviously it, it's not a non-album song but definitely like a cool little gem in the rage discography um but yeah thanks